So, on the subject of disbudding, I just wanted to have a couple of minutes to have a chat with you. I tend to only do it when the plant's got so many flowers later on in the season, it can't cope, and then we help it out by reducing the number of blooms. But at this time of the year, so you've got, this is the lead flower in the centre, and you can see that's gonna bloom. So the idea with disbudding is you strip off these two here to put all the energy into this one bloom here. I don't actually see a massive amount of difference, not at this time of the year anyway. But if you did that, that means that when that blooms over, you have to basically have somewhere for it to go. So if you have got weddings every couple of days, then that's fine. Whenever it's ready, you can use it. But if you don't, or if you're growing for the house, then in my mind, it would be better to leave these buds because then you get three chances of blooms when you want them, rather than the pressure of being ready for this flower when it's ready. The idea is they're ready when you are. Oh, this is a good example. So if we had disbudded these two side shoots, this flower would be over and that would be it. So unless you had a use for it immediately, then it's over. However, we've got two more chances. So this one's going over, but it's been looking lovely for well over a week. And then this one is just coming into its prime. And frankly, the one that's over is still looking pretty good in the garden there and then if we whiz round this way this one is to follow so we have got a one two three trio i don't know what this is it was a sample and it is not the color i was expecting but i do like it it is lovely i've got some more so we will see so far they're all coming out slightly different <laughs> 